I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out. Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Shibby2142 and today we're talking about Man vs. Machine. It is finally here guys, coming on Wednesday, August 15th. I don't even know what I'm going to do, but I'm definitely going to be wearing a diaper because I'm probably going to poop my pants in excitement. Grey Horde is approaching. As the Man vs. Machine trailer starts up, I'll help break down the certain parts and just talk about the update in general, what we know so far on day one. So the Grey Horde is approaching, Grey Man has built an unstoppable automaton army with a single purpose to destroy all things Manco. So this guy, this gray man, is looking to destroy our hats. Now this is not acceptable, therefore we need to kill all these robots. Basically what's going to be happening here is you and four friends, so it's going to be a co-op team of five, are going to be going against waves of robots. The idea is the robots want to drop a bomb, one of the bomb carriers, into a Manco bomb hole Therefore, you then lose. You will notice some of the enemies. I'll link you guys to the page, and we can talk about that further. Now, red team, blue team will be working together. As you will see, the soldier, the down man, they're all good. No more war. We're going to be working together against the gray team. I really like this shot because first, demo and soldier are cool with each other, and then the red team busts, and it's like, wait, what? And then the heavy throws the down man the shotgun. Some people are speculating, but Shibe. Dome Man can't have shotgun. Well, I think it's just for trailer purposes. Don't worry about it. They're just drinking beers, playing some cards, but now it's time for war. Archimedes Take 5, we're gonna be here for a while. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about what would be the best team. We don't know what's gonna happen so far. Either Spy can sap, or how the sentry is gonna be effective against the robots. Can Soldier juggle? How well will the Dome Man be able to use his stickies? Will Scout even be useful at all? I just, I just don't know, but I do think Engineer and Medic will be two very key classes because the Dispenser, Sentry, Teleporter, I don't know if that's going to come into play, but definitely Medic for Health, that will be big. While we do see a Soldier here possibly readying a grenade, I do not think they're going to be bringing grenades back in a Team Fortress 2. We already saw that in Team Fortress Classic. Kind of a mess in my opinion, so don't worry about that. Once again, I think for trailer purposes, but I could be wrong. Once again, it's only day one, we have no idea. While the carrier tank approaches with the robots, let's take a look at the Doomsday Secret Room map. We'll be getting at least two other man vs. machine maps. One will be Cactus Valley on the right, the other is Death Hill, and we already know about Quick Lime Factory, once again only knowing day one information. As we start to see the robots, it's pretty obvious that Valve has taken some of the most hated stereotypes of classes and made them into the special classes for robot, such as Steel Gauntlet Heavy, where it sounds like Heavy will be running around with his fist of steel and the assumption that you'll have to get close in order to take advantage of the increased melee vulnerability of that class. Just an example, so there's other classes like the Demo Knight, the Bowman, also the Luxman, should be interesting to see how the hitboxes work out for that. Quick Fix Medic, a lot of people think the Quick Fix is kind of weird because it does not take advantage of what people think quote unquote a real med gun is. There will also be the Heavyweight Champ, the Sydney Sniper, and then some giants such as the Soldier, the Heavy, the Scout, which sounds like the thing you have to take out first, and then an unknown, possibly final wave boss that's going to be huge. I don't know guys, this sounds absolutely insane, it comes out Wednesday, August 15th. I don't know what time, you know, usually Valve time is what people say, so just be ready, it's going to be awesome. So if you're excited like I am, make sure you guys are leaving a plus like for Team Fortress 2 because it is one of the best games ever. Valve, they're so awesome. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more Man vs. Machine content coming soon. I'll see you guys Wednesday.